Part 2 of Natalie Nunn and Red's conversation aired last night, and although it was a lot for me to get through, I made it, and I'm here to do a review on the second part of the episode, so let's get into it. The second part of the conversation starts off with the fight that was continued from last week, which last week they basically showed us the entire fight, nothing much else happened. We've seen that neither Natalie or Red did any type of damage. None of Natalie's hits connected besides the first grab to the face, which was a shame because Natalie was literally right in front of her and swung first and couldn't even land a hit to save her life. After security broke them up, they kind of just let Natalie run right through again, even though Red Security was making sure she was in one place. Natalie runs up again, but this time when she ran up on Red, she kicked Red. From what I've seen on the show, it looks like Natalie runs up with her little kick and a hit to Red, but then it looks like after that, Red hit her a good two to three times, and all the swinging I seen from Natalie was literally to the air. Again, Natalie did no type of damage despite running up and having the advantage. For Natalie to have the height advantage, the reach advantage, and then she ran up so she had all the momentum and she ran up with some weak old kick and not even a punch and Red just got her licks in on her. Natalie did all of this talking about beating Red up and there being three rounds, but it was beyond overhyped. Red didn't get beat and Natalie didn't get beat. There was barely even a fight. It was more of a scuffle. After their scuffle, Natalie just started screaming things to Red like Red wants to be on baddies so bad. But Natalie for some reason thinks that everybody wants to be on baddies even though most of the bad girls declined and said no to baddies. I don't think she realizes not everybody is dying to be on a network like Zeus. The way they treated Red, the way they sleep with half of their talent, they're really just not a professional network by a long shot. And a lot of the shows are just a little bit on the boring side because most of the time they coop girls up in the house and they don't show them doing things outside. Whereas other networks, they would show the girls getting their nails done, going out to lunch, etc. So a lot of OG bad girls are more hesitant about doing the show and many of them just flat out said no when fans were asking them if they would do it. But after some more shouting between the two, Natalie tries to run up again and she does this kick and missed and of course she just looked pretty pathetic. I'm not really sure why she keeps trying to run up and kick Red instead of just throwing her actual hands. Red tries to swing at Natalie through the security and Natalie laughs and says that Red was moving in slow motion. But for Red to be moving as slow as she is, Natalie Natalie sure didn't get any hits in, which makes it even more sad for her, in my opinion. Natalie keeps trying to run up and she keeps saying things like she runs this, meaning like the filming, production, the set, or whatever, but Natalie doesn't run the conversation. Natalie doesn't run Zeus. She only is an executive producer of baddies. Another thing that isn't run by Natalie is LA and she keeps saying that she runs it and it's just taking me back to BGC4. It just looks like Natalie is regressing instead of growing. Then the camera showed Jayla out of nowhere trying to run up towards Red's direction direction but the two don't even end up getting into it because of security and I really used to like Jayla but it just seemed like she was desperate for attention and she was really trying hard to be a follower of Natalie. There was no reason that we seen at least that warranted Jayla trying to fight Red other than her being Natalie's minion. Mind you guys, a lot of this conversation is literally just Natalie yelling things at Red. One of the things she kept yelling at is that Red is fat, but last year when Tanisha called Natalie out for calling her fat, Natalie denied it and said she would never because she has a fitness line. Natalie swore that's just not something that she says and it just wouldn't be smart, etc. But here she is on the conversation doing what she denied doing last year. After all this fighting, Red was ready to go and they started packing up their things in their room and then Natalie kept shouting, what is the problem? But clearly Natalie ran up so she knows what the problem is. Like, I don't know why she kept repeating that. It was very annoying to have to hear. I really wish they would have edited some more of Natalie out because she was doing way too much for me and it's just really unlikable and hard to watch. We don't need four to five minute scenes of her running around the house asking the same exact question over and over and over. We got it the first couple times we said it. We really didn't need all of that footage. But Red tries to run up the stairs as Red's girlfriend was in the hallway and Natalie was telling Jayla that Jayla is going to stomp on Lil Bit. And this for me is when I seen Red get a little bit more upset. I noticed that once Lil Bit was involved, Red was getting a little bit more feisty. And I thought that that was really cute because obviously Red didn't want people coming for her girlfriend so she got more protective. But another one of Zeus leaving in things is Natalie keeps talking about 10k that she's going to give to Red if Red comes downstairs and that she keeps asking for her bag. It was very corny but not only that was corny she also kept talking about Red sleeping on this blow up match for Riz, which Red already said that she was doing because she was waiting for furniture to get to her new place. But yet another scene of just screaming and shouting over each other, they included Natalie screaming for her bag, a little bit screaming for their phones because Zeus didn't want to give them their phones back because they didn't want them to leave. 
I don't know why they just don't turn someone's sound off when they're trying to focus it on someone else speaking. They can edit that out if they're all wearing mics. It was just super annoying to me. It's hard to even hear what anybody's saying because they're all shouting over each other. But as Natalie's downstairs, you know, just running around saying she's gonna get food for Red, Red tries to run downstairs and security wouldn't let her. And Natalie starts laughing because Red couldn't get to her, but Natalie also ran up a lot of times and it just didn't work. So I'm not sure why she thought that that was so funny. I was looking at both of their faces after the fight and they both seemed to be fine to me. I didn't see any marks, but let me know if you guys did it, but I didn't see any marks on either Red or Natalie's face. But as all the chaos is going on downstairs with Natalie running around the kitchen trying to find bags of chips or whatever she is trying to find for Red, Red is on the balcony going off and the security guard tells her to be quiet because of the neighbors and Red said, that y'all should have got a bigger house and i thought that was really funny but on the balcony red did calm down a lot and then she even smoked and then she ended up going back inside to have the conversation with natalie but i didn't like that the security guard kept trying to silence red and get her to calm down but they were just letting natalie do whatever she wanted around the house as red's outside they then go to a shot of natalie her thirsty friend that wants to be in camera and jayla who was too hyped to be a part of anything because she wasn't even a part of the drama but of course she's trying to ride hard so she can get her spot on season two of baddies red comes back downstairs to have the conversation and she has a red cup in her hand and Natalie says to watch the cup because she doesn't want to damage any of her furniture. Natalie, girl, we all know this is a house Zeus rented out. Stop acting like it's yours. Lemmy, who if you guys don't know, is the founder and CEO of Zeus, is trying to mediate the situation and Natalie says that Red was upstairs for an hour because she was scary and Lemmy tells Natalie it's not because of that, it's because he was talking to Red and Natalie seems to be very bothered. I feel like Natalie was upset that Lemmy was trying to play mediator because she wanted him to agree with her. Red was looking a lot more unbothered than Natalie was and Natalie's face the entire time was just mad and she had a really strong face on. Meanwhile, Red was just laughing and making her jokes. During the ending of their conversation, conversation they talked about how this happened in 2014 but natalie is still pretending to be mad about the episode for the conversation natalie is just trying to hype herself up to be mad about something that happened eight years ago for some camera time natalie again brings up the lie that she says that red talks about her on our youtube all the time which we've already discussed is not true we all know Natalie fabricates a lot of things, so this isn't even a shock to me. After Natalie finished smoking, Red spoke and she asked Natalie if Natalie had felt good about what she had just did, which was running up. And I'm glad that she asked that because I was thinking the same thing because we all know that was Natalie's agenda to get that one little moment to try to fight Red so she can get a shade room post or so people could be talking about it. Even though her run up was super weak, she was gonna try to do anything for some attention. There was basically no point of a conversation because there wasn't even much of a conversation. It was more of just Natalie trying to run up. But the show is called The Conversation. Even if it was Natalie's goal or mission to come running up on Red and try to beat Red up, it failed because she couldn't even land a decent hit. Again, Natalie brings up the fact that Red wants to be on Baddie Season 2, but Red already declined working with Natalie when they talked about the original BGC OnlyFans page. Red from the beginning has explained that she wasn't feeling working with Natalie, so it's not even like she would want to do something that Natalie is a part of. Red towards the end of the conversation kept bringing up Natalie's shoes, and I really thought that was funny because the shoes were pretty ugly. And I know at the end Natalie was hurt because when she was leaving the house, she was talking about her Louboutin sneakers, but it doesn't matter to the designer because they were still ugly in my opinion. Natalie then starts to act like she owns the house that Zeus rented out talking about Red needs to leave for her house etc and I honestly felt really bad for her watching this I'm not even sure if the viewers take her seriously while watching this or if they take anything she says seriously I would really hope not because she's always capping on the internet I just had to take multiple deep sighs while watching this because Natalie is talking about being in Bel Air and she has views like this on the daily but she doesn't even live in LA or near LA Again, I just really wish Zeus would edit a lot of the things out that Natalie was doing because her repeating the word bye for four to five minutes was just not necessary at all and I really could have done without that. Natalie did all that acting out as if she ran the house just for her to be packing up her things in the ending montage. The show wraps up and Zeus put an ending screen that said Red and Natalie remain hopeful about their future, which Red has actually came out to deny and said that that's not true and that's not what she said. But Red said that she had said that she would never be seen with Nunchin or her shoes. But that was my review of part two of the conversation. It was super long for me to get through. It was super hard to watch. Natalie for me is just becoming a lot more unlikable over time and I was really team red this entire conversation. Let me know if you guys are team red or team Natalie, but if you guys made it to the end of this video, you made it to the end for a reason. So be sure to give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.